Welcome to Big Apple News. I, my name is Andrew McLaughlin. And I'm Nikki Farrell. Today we're interviewing counselor at Star Camp to see what makes them tick. First we asked, what is your favorite prank? My favorite prank? Oh, man. Uh, I think my favorite prank is to uh, have someone look away and I say, hey, what's that over there while we're having dinner? And then I take a french fry or whatever I want from that person's plate and they never know. What's my favorite? What is your favorite prank? My favorite prank? I'd say my favorite prank is the, uh, the old tabletop prank where you sit behind someone and you push them right over the back. My favorite prank. I ha I'm very partial to the whippy cushion. I'm a huge fan of that. I know it's old and played out, but nothing like a good fart to get the day going. I think I would have to say making people fall down. <laughs> I'm a big fan of throwing small water balloons out of second floor out of second floor windows on the people walking up to my house. My favorite prank would have to be. Uh, a hot foot prank. So when you're playing sports and you sit next to somebody who's on a bench and you light their lace on fire, and all of a sudden they look down and like that. My favorite prank, kind of like Andrew's one where you put the gelatin in the toilet, I like putting other people's stuff in jello. So you take their like, pencils or like a calculator and you put it, you cook it in a jello mold so, and then you leave it someplace where they're gonna find it. It's like it's a, like one of the things in Jell-O, and they have, to, they have to eat it out. Oh, My favorite prank, I think is, uh, you guys know what gelatin is? Yes. Yeah. Uh, putting gelatin in a toilet, so it, it gets cold, and then it, uh, it, it have a clear jello in the toilet, so that uh, the next day, the entire toilet bowl is full of jello. <laughs> Hilarious. Pouring cold water on people. Oh. Classic. <laughs> Then we ask, what is their favorite silly face? My favorite silly face? I like to do the uh, cross-eyed tongue out. Like, <laughs> favorite silly face? Okay. It's two. Like this. Oh, okay. See the camera? Oh. What is your favorite? Then we asked, what is your favorite joke? Uh, my favorite joke. Uh, I'm not a very good joke teller. I don't like jokes that much, but I do know one, and I'm going to ask you, why did the chicken cross the road? Uh... To get to the other side. See, it's not very good, but it's a joke nonetheless. I'm not really a joke. I'm very serious. Favorite joke. Okay. A skeleton walks into a juice bar and says, can I have a pitcher of grape soda and a mop. Oh, that's what you get from me. You get it? Good joke. Um, three guys walk into a bar. What do they say? I never heard of that one. Ow. <laughs> and then we asked about their favorite dance move. I guess my favorite would be when he pulls up the... It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody looking for to the weekend, weekend, Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, partying, 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 partying. Fun, 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 looking forward to the weekend. Now we're driving on the highway, cruising so fast, I want time to fly. Fun, fun, think about fun. Favorite silly face? I'd have to go with the blank stare. That is my favorite silly face. The what? So you go from, you know, you're really engaged to. Like this. 
okay. Shoot the camera. Oh. My favorite joke. Two guys walk into a restaurant and they see a giraffe laying on the floor. And the first man asks the waiter, what's that lion there? And the waiter goes, that's not a lion, that's a giraffe. Oh, I get it. <laughs> What is your favorite silly face? It's probably, uh... If I had a favorite silly face, it would probably be like... That's, what is your favorite dance move? Welcome to the Big Awkward News report, um, travel report. My name is Andrew McLaughlin. And I'm Nikki Farrell. Today we're, we're um, doing a new place for vacations for pets. This is Amelia Calico we're speaking to. My pet has always seemed to be bored and never played with his toys. So I got a... Oh, cat. I got a good idea for my cat, and I decided to take it on a vacation. So, I built a cat with some, uh, I built a cat boat with some of my friends. It's very small. It has a poop deck. That's where they do, that's where they poop. Um, it has a milk bar. It has fish deck. String deck, and it also has a scratch post deck. And it has lots of large, cozy cabins that almost every cat on the boat can fit. So, um. I have a question. Yes? How do you control all the litter around the floor? Oh. Um. We built a robot. So. The sand that travels around the boat, so when they need to go, they follow the sand to our room. Um, well, actually, we had a robot to do it all. I don't know how I got it. I just found it. Okay, don't get in the Pretty weird, right? What are the cats Welcome to the Coach P Sports Report. In tennis news, Roger Federer's going home. He lost yesterday at Wimbledon, and he was not happy. The Yankees won. I dropped the Coach P Sports Report, but we have a special announcement. About Cat Cruise. Tell us about it. Um, Dennis Scoop. Well, I took my, I'm trying to take my cat on a cruise, because I tried to follow the advice on the news. I, when I was dropping it off, I found out that she has been taking the cats, taking them home with her, and forcing them to... Recording. Yes, exactly what I mean. So now we are very sad that all of these cats have been taken. I investigated the boat. I shut her company down, and now she will never. She will come out of jail, jail in the next 20 years. Hmm. Interesting. But are you sure she did it? Yes, we are sure she did it. We looked at. We looked at her records, her police records, and we tell that she's been kidnapping cats for 40 years now. She's a 40-year-old woman. Now we're going to return back to the Coach Peters sports report. I didn't do it! No! I'm innocent! No, you're not. Yeah. And again, of course, and what do you know, the Mets did too, two in a row, scoring, I think, 16 runs in yesterday's game and 14 in the game before. 